Konnichiwa! I'm Malayla from b y s i d e Japanese. Today, I want to introduce you seven words and grammar patterns that you should say differently if you want to sound more natural and casual. You will learn these seven words in the very beginning of your Japanese textbook. But Japanese people won't, won't use them so much in daily conversations. Okay, let's get straight into it. First one is Iie, Iie. It's a polite way to say no, but we don't use the word in daily conversations at all. Instead, we often say Iya, Iya. You can say Iya in a formal situation as well. Iya, daijoubu. Iya, daijoubu. This will sound more casual and natural than saying Iye, daijoubu desu. If your friend asks you, Is this yours? Kore, reira no? If it's not, Then you can say, Yeah, chigao. I have never used iye when I talk with my friends because it sounds too formal. Iya means simple no, but it can also be used as I don't want to. For example, if your friend says, Can you help me with my homework? Shukudai tetsudatte? Then you can say, Eh, iya, no, I don't want to. The second one is totemo. Totemo, which means very or really. Totemo can sound a little too formal to use in daily conversations, I think. So I recommend you say, Honto ni instead. Honto ni. So, Honto ni is the spoken version of Honto ni. Usually Japanese people omit the u sound and just say, Honto ni. Honto ni. Honto ni still sounds a little, a, little, a bit too formal, but Honto ni doesn't sound too formal or too casual. So I really recommend that you use it a lot. Kono onigiri, totemo oishi. Kono onigiri, honto ni oishi. Kyo, totemo tsukareta. Kyo, honto ni tsukareta. The third one is takusan, which means a lot. But takusan might sound a little too polite when you talk with your friend. So I recommend you use. Sugoi instead. Sugoi. So, sugoi is a super useful and popular word in Japan. It's an e adjective, but many Japanese people use it as an adverb as well. Sugoi can mean so many, so much, or really, or awesome, cool, lots of meanings. If you use sugoi instead of takusan, it can sound a little bit more exaggerated. Like if you say, sugoi taberu. It sounds like I eat so much compared to takusan taberu, which, which sounds like just I eat a lot. Hon wo takusan motte iru. Hon wo sugoi motte iru. Kino wa takusan aruite tsukareta. Kino wa sugoi aruite tsukareta. But please remember that some Japanese people don't like many younger people overuse sugoi. But I think it's still a very useful word. The fourth one is Gomen nasai. Gomen nasai. I know you have learned it as sorry in Japanese, but it sounds too serious to use it in daily conversations. So I recommend you omit nasai and just say Gomen. Gomen. If you're really sorry, then you can add Honto ni to Gomen. Like Honto ni Gomen. Honto ni Gomen. Gomenasai. Honto ni gomen. The fifth one is soste. Soste. Which is a、uh, conjunction. That means and. And it's not used in speaking at all. It's more like a written word. So instead, I think you can use ato. 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 So for example, if you want to say, I went shopping on Saturday and I studied Japanese on Sunday. Doyobi wa kaimono ni ikimashita. そして日曜日は日本語を勉強しました。This sounds like a written sentence. So you can use あと instead. Like 土曜日は買い物に行きました。あと日曜日は日本語を勉強しました。This sounds much more natural. So this あと has the same nuance of like besides or in addition. So it's more like それにそれに。
you can use atto or sole ni instead of soste interchangeably. Kyo wa shiro gohan to pan to atto pasta mo tabemasta. Sole ni pasta mo tabemasta. The sixth one is te form plus imasu. That shows a continuing situation. Te form plus imasu. Like aruite imasu. I'm walking. Harete imasu. It's sunny. But it's very common to omit the E sound when you speak it. You can just say temas. Temas. Harete mas. Aruite mas. If you pronounce the E sound, you will sound polite. But if you omit it, you will sound more casual. What are you doing now? Minasan. Ima nani o shite imasu ka? Nani o shite imasu ka? Nani o shite imasu ka? Your answer should be I'm studying Japanese with Leira. Ima Leira to Nihongo o benkyo shite masu. Benkyo shite masu. Okay. The last one is mass form plus Masenka, which is used to invite the listener to do something with you. Like, Kyou nome ni ikimasen ka? Kyou nome ni ikimasen ka? Would you like to go to drink tonight? It's a polite way to invite someone, so I recommend you use nai form instead, instead of mas form plus masenka. Like, Kyou nome ni ikanai? Kyou nome ni ikimasen ka? If you use the nai form of a verb, you can make a sentence which invites the listener to do something with you. And that's the most natural and casual way to ask. I will give you more examples. Are you up for coming to my house tomorrow? 明日私の家に来ませんか? 明日私の家に来ない? 来ませんか? 来ない? Let's eat this together. これ一緒に食べませんか? これ一緒に食べない? 食べませんか? 食べない? Do you feel like calling tonight? 今日の夜電話しませんか? 今日の夜電話しない? 電話しませんか? 電話しない? Okay, that's it for today's lesson. I use these expressions that we have learned today all the time. I really hope you find them useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> that will make me happy and motivate me to make more videos. I post useful lessons every Tuesday and Friday. And don't forget to connect with me on Instagram as well. I really hope I can see you in the next video. Yaoichi nichiyo. Bye bye. Mata ne.